And if I want to bring it to me, I'm going to tap on the word summon. So there, it's going to start moving on its own. In this mostly empty parking lot, Tesla owner Peter Levy shows how the feature is supposed to work. And it's got a little bit more to come. That's pretty accurate. Although it's working here, Levy and others say it's not ready for crowded parking lots, bustling with other vehicles, stop signs and pedestrians. But at the moment, I would not trust it if I was to get set it loose in a busy parking lot. I would be a complete nervous wreck. This video caused a sensation earlier this week. A car driving by itself in a busy Richmond, B.C. parking lot. Crossing yellow lines, confusing bystanders. One of many videos showing scrapes, and near misses since the feature was introduced. Stop, 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 stop. Asked about self-driving Teslas, the Insurance Corporation of British Columbia stated, currently BC laws do not permit driverless vehicles on our roads. A vehicle being driven autonomously in a shopping mall parking lot is not allowed. Although driverless technology has been talked about for decades, little has been clarified or tested in court around many issues. Right away, the BC government and probably governments across the world are going to be looking at legislating quickly uh, to address this. Making sure it's safe comes down to provincial and federal agencies, as well as the automobile manufacturers, all saying basically it's a work in progress. Back in the parking lot, Peter Levy says he's confident features like this are the future, but it will need some tweaking. The Tesla offers it so that people can be beta testers. They can help to improve it over time. So you're a guinea pig? A guinea pig, absolutely a guinea pig, but we're willing guinea pigs because we want to see it succeed. Transport Canada says the technology is being monitored and that whether you're actually sitting behind the wheel or pushing a button on your phone, you're still responsible for your car. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, North Vancouver.